What's up my poker players? It is now day two of the poker challenge. Just wanted to go over a few things about my HUD on Hold a Manager before I show you any poker footage. I actually have quite a bit of footage from last night. I got in a couple interesting spots uh, in the first hour and 15 minutes that I put in of the challenge. So let's uh, let's get started and look at the HUD and the HUD design that I have set up right now. I have it kind of basic. It might sound and look a little complicated. It's not that bad. You'll get used to it. I would write all of your stats or metrics here on a little cheat sheet to keep in front of you so that you can easily reference it at the tables. Obviously, you've got the name of the poker player right away, the total hands that the poker player has played, the post-flop aggression factor. It's usually a, a smaller number. You, you'll get a feel for it after a while. You know, people with a one to a three usually play fit or fold type poker, meaning that they they'll play their hands straight up. They're not going to do a lot of bluffing and when they bet they usually have a hand. Next line we have the VPIP which is voluntarily put in pot. The total pre-flop raise, total 3-bet and 3-bet is premium meaning aces, kings, queens or ace king. Uh, these are all percentages actually all of the rest of the metrics on my HUD are percentages. The VPIP is a combination of calls and raises pre-flop. The pre-flop raise is obviously just the raises that player has pre-flop. Total three bets are when you bet or another player bets and this player makes a third bet now. And then we look at whether that third bet is going to be a quality premium hand. This is a great metric to use because a lot of players will only bet, will only three bet with aces, kings, queens, or ace king. So if this number is a 99%, and you have jacks, you know that three out of the four hands this player has is beating you right now. In the next line, we have the the flop bet, flop fold, turn bet, turn fold, river bet, river fold. Easy, super easy, all percentages. You know, I'll show you a little bit what to look at and when to look at these in the poker play that I will get to next. The one showdown percentage, one showdown percentage on a river raise, and one showdown when Saw River, no all in. When a player has a high one showdown percentage, you know, they're they're only getting to the river with good hands. And when they have a high one showdown river raise, you know that they're only raising on the river with good hands. They're not gonna make a lot of river bluffs. These are all great metrics to use when showing down when at the river, because that's where big pots are won or lost. You're going to win smaller pots by betting early in the hand, and you're going to win big pots by reading at the river and making bets at the river and showing down with good hands, or just showing down with better hands than your opponent. Now let's incorporate this into some poker situations from last night. We're going to look at about five hands. Let's fast forward to the first one. So the first hand we're looking at here, I wind up getting kings. You can see as I'm setting up my tables, so that is a good way to start out the session. Um, it looks like I make a 5x raise pre-flop, get one caller, still setting up here. Uh, three quarters pot bet, post flop, uh, I'm going to pretty much get all the chips in as quick as I can with that hand. Next hand, I have... Ace King here, and I am still setting up, going through my HUD. Looks like I, this is about when I was writing down everything on my cheat sheet. Um, getting prepared for the session. Uh, I make it a little bit bigger than 3x, 3.5x. At that point, I probably should have gone all in or bet smaller. Um, I pot committed myself by leaving him less than two times the uh, pot pot to stack ratio right there. So I pot committed myself. I bet he folds. Worked out in my favor. Probably should have went all in pre-flop. Next hand we're looking at here is ace five. He min bet on the button. You can see that his 
Preflop raise is really high. His VPIP is really high. Yeah, it's only over a, a sample of nine hands, but you know, I figure Ace Five is is definitely within my calling range there. And playing against someone this bad out of position, um, he checks the flop, so I know he probably doesn't have an ace. Probably doesn't have a queen. He could have slow played uh, an ace, or he possibly could have a two. My guess is that he's either on a straight draw or a flush draw on the river here you know you want to none of the draws hit so you want to sucker him in you want to get him to bet which is exactly what he does but he goes all in for three times the size of the pot so i go in the tank here and i'm thinking about it and i'm thinking about it and i'm pretty sure that he missed his flush or he missed his straight I'm going to make the call. I'm a little bit scared of the deuce. I don't think he plays any other hand like this except for a flush draw or a straight draw. And he had the flush draw and a straight draw. Next hand we're looking at here is queens out of the small blind. At this point in the video, I think is a good time for me to say thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you are new and have not subscribed yet. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with any of your friends who may be interested. I have included links below for America's Card Room, which in my opinion is the best online poker site, especially for US poker players. If you are new to America's Card Room, they are currently offering a $1,000 deposit bonus along with 50 tournament bucks when you make your first deposit. They also have a great point system which gives back um, the rewards. You know, you're gonna make you know, 50 to 100 bucks a week just off the rewards. Um, maybe even more if you put in the hours. Not to mention the leaderboard which is more free money in your pocket. Check it out. There is also a link for Hold a Manager 2 which is a must when playing online. It will definitely pay for itself within a week. So check out the video description below for the important links. So I re-raised re queens out of the small blind, a, a little bit bigger than three times what he bet. I have actually 4.9 thousand hands against this guy. He plays quite a bit. He's a regular. This flop, I, I figured he's got a big hand, so I'm going to come out and bet. But I know that he folds 67% of the time by that 67 number in the post-flop fold. And so I bet small, hopefully get him to either raise with ace-king, call with ace-king, aces. He probably wound up having jacks. Now that I think about it, with such a high fold percentage, I probably should have just check raised him. And he probably would have went all in with aces or kings. Or ace-king. Kings I would have lost too, but ace-king and aces I would have beat. Now we're looking at kings. In later position, uh, this guy calls a lot pre-flop, so I make it 5x. He's got the 44% VPIP, which means that he is calling a lot pre-flop. And I get a re-raise out of the button. Um, I can see that this guy's pretty aggressive, over 53 hands. Um... He's got a 3-bet percentage of 5% of hands. I want him to come along, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than 2 times his bet. Looks like I'm thinking about the bet sizing. That is a weird bet, but it's effective. So, what are you going to do? Here, I'm already pot committed. I've got my stack to pot ratio is one, just about equal to the pot. So I'm going to check, and hopefully he'll make a stab at it, which he does. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to get it all in. He's pretty much pot committed. I don't think he's going to fold any hand at this point. So I raise all in, and I get a call. And he has seven fives, so he's got sevens. Yeah, so that was a, a pretty bad hand to call with, but he, I got him pot committed. Can't believe he played a pre-flop like that. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and hope to see you out on the virtual felt.